Coach Brendan Cabral here. Today we're going to look at a couple of system exercises for uh, competitive kettlebell lifting or the sport of kettlebell. Uh, specifically today we're going to be looking at how to get more comfortable in the rack position by doing an exercise called rack holds. Uh, some coaches like to call these rack meditations as well. And as soon as you start doing them, you'll understand why we call them meditations. So the first one we're going to look at today is the center rack hold. So I have two kettlebells. I'm going to get nice and comfortable in my center rack position here. And the next one we're going to move on to after that is the alternating rack hold. Okay? So the thing I'm looking for is having a nice overlap of the hands and keeping these nice and close together. I'm going to roll my elbows in. Okay? And I'm going to allow my hips to be pushed forward to help support some of the weight from my kettlebells. So it's transferred directly into my pelvis and to my feet below. I want to ensure that my weight is staying in my heels here. Okay, so from a profile, it's gonna look like this. Notice how my chest is hollowed out to make room for the kettlebells. This also allows me to transfer the weight of the kettlebells from my arms into my hips directly. So I'm not supporting with my back. If I were here, I'd be doing a lot of work with my upper and lower back trying to support the kettlebells. So I'm gonna reverse that, hollow the upper chest, and keep the hips pushed out slightly. Okay, let's begin. So first things first, I'm going to place one handle on top of the other, clasp that, or grasp it with my other hand, and place the handle at the top. Roll the elbows in together, and get comfortable. Again, my hips are pushed forward, my chest is slightly hollowed out here, and we're going to hold for about 30 seconds today. I want to try to get these elbows as relaxed as possible into my hips. So again, from the side, just so you can see, hips are pushed forward, chest is hollow. 